And now they belong to the entire country, the FDNY, the Fire Department of New York. The men and women who were the first to respond with the police to the World Trade Center and those who will not give up the struggle to find their fallen colleagues. There will be someday a permanent memorial to them, and quite by accident, one is already here. A grieving firefighter praying for his fallen comrades. He was meant to stand here on this tiny patch of land near a truck stop in Kingdom City, Missouri, a tribute to the lost lives of Missouri's bravest. It was en route from New York City when terror struck. And so in a city where memorials are blooming in the unlikeliest of places, none more so than this. A flatbed truck on a nondescript block of 44th Street and 8th Avenue. An unexpected gift from the Missourians who have decided that more firefighters here lost their lives in one day than in the entire history of their state. He makes me want to break down and cry. And so, while officials decide on a permanent home, New Yorkers from all walks of life look, cry, leave tokens of remembrance, inscribed a fireman's pledge, give me the strength to save some life. Here, cast in bronze, a permanent tribute to those whose strength gave out, to those who fight on at ground zero, from New York to Missouri and beyond. Well, that's nightly news for this Thursday. I hope you can join me tonight. President George W. Bush addresses the nation from a special joint session of Congress. That's tonight at 9 Eastern on...